Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Myself's Kitchen. I hope you are all doing well. So today, as you can see, I'm sharing with you my burger buns recipe. This is so simple and easy to make. So without wasting my time, let's get started. You are proud to be part of Myself's Kitchen. You are proud to be part of Myself's Kitchen. It's very educative, very informative, nothing delays, always the best. You proud to be part of my sub's kitchen. You proud to be part of my sub's kitchen. I have some salt, granulated sugar. Melted butter, all purpose flour, one cup of warm water, Mazab's kitchen, egg, and my yeast. So, in my stand mix, I'll add my warm water and then add my sugar and the yeast and mix all together I'll then go ahead and add my melted butter add my salt and then mix all together again I'll then add my all-purpose flour I'll then knead my dough for about 10 to 15 minutes I added my water before adding the other ingredients because I'm very sure of what I'm doing if not whenever you are making bread or other pastries do not add more water before you add the flour. If not, <laughs> so on my clean working surface, I'll add my dough and then add a bit of olive oil into my mixing bowl and then rub it throughout. I'll then shape my dough a bit and then add it back onto my mixing bowl and then add a bit of olive oil and then rub it on top of it so it doesn't stick when it's double rice I'll then cover it with a, a plastic foil and let this rise for about one and a half hours or when it doubles in size yeah just look at it after one and a half hours it's done so on my clean working surface i will gently deflate the dough and divide it into 12 pieces so just look at it i'm forming a loaf right there so I can easily divide it if you Mas want the sizes kitchen. to be equal please use your scale I will list all the ingredients in the description box below we will now shape the pieces into a ball and then place it on our parchment paper just look at it you fold it like a book and then you roll it in your palms so I'll continue this process until I'm done with the dough I'm preheating my oven at 190 degrees if you don't have a stand mixer you can also mix your dough in a bowl and then knead it then you have to knead it for about 
15 to 20 minutes to get more glitter in your dough so here we are we'll go ahead and press our dough down with our fingers or your palm so we can get the nice shape that we are going for i have separated the band from each other so that it doesn't stick together but if you don't mind you can just let it be where it is when it gets together you can just break it off i'll then cover my dough and let this rise again for an hour so now after an hour it's time to egg wash our dough. buns so we'll go ahead and brush our egg on top of our buns it shouldn't be too much and it shouldn't be less as you can see i have my sesame seeds right there which will go on top of our buns if you don't want it you can also omit it it's also good watch out for our next video which will be our chicken sandwich with this beautiful buns <laughs>